Howdy folks, it's a cold, messy, dreary, drizzly day here in Tennessee and I was just sitting around back here thinking of something to do and I got thinking on the uh, ramrod that came with the uh, rifle I had built, Tennessee Mountain Rifle I had built by Ron Luckinbill up in Emporia, Pennsylvania. It had a cupped ramrod tip, if you can see that right there. So if you didn't want to put a traditional tip on a ramrod like that, of course you wouldn't have your, uh, be able to screw a jag in there to clean it with. But I think it just looks neat. This one's uh, tapered out too and it, on the end, that's a 50 caliber. So I had a 5 16 ramrod a piece of it back here. And I got to thinking about it and I thought that ought to be simple enough to do. So what I did, I took the ramrod, as you can see, a five sixteenths ramrod and I took a quarter inch drill bit which is a sixteenth of an inch difference in it. At first I chucked it up in the drill and uh, centered it in that ramrod like that and it kind of walked off center a little bit and I got it to come back and I got it started. So I got to thinking it cuts so you ought to be able to do it by hand so what I did I took this machine bit and I just figured out which way that that turns and I just started turning it and it started cupping out the end of that ramrod. You see what it did to it right there? And I'm playing around a little bit with cutting cutting grooves in it. I'm not the handiest person on the face of the earth, but even a blind pig will find an acre there once in a while. So I just thought I'd show that to you, give you something to do sometime if you want to do something a little bit different. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Keep your powder dry. Mind you, top not building.